It seems like Karens all over the world have taken an oath to ruin people's lives and rob them of opportunities that they worked hard for. Honestly, at this point, watching them lose it isn't even funny anymore. It looks like the Karens have specifically evolved to not have any sense of empathy. You'd have to be a monster to leave children out in the storm. Yeah. Is that we cannot let no one in or out. Nobody come in. Bro, let them in. Have a baby. Can y'all just let them in, bro? They have a baby. They oh, said no one out and no one in. Let me sign my message. They just let them in. They can't do nothing. The lights don't go off. Everything. Come lock the door. I lost it when he told her she was being recorded. Pretty sure corporate will have a solution for Karens like these. Excuse me? Ma'am, listen, I'm about to get out of here. I just explained to the higher ups over your head that, that I feel very threatened. Please don't do that. Just leave me alone. Let me get out of the building. Just leave me alone and let me get out of the building. You want conflict. I'm trying to get up out of here. Just let me clock out. Just let me clock out. We passed that now. Just let me clock out. Very disrespectful. If I was white, you would have never said none of this. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You don't know me neither. But obviously I had the key to get in this building and I punched the code in. And I did exactly what I was supposed to do was to ask whoever come through the door, just like it was a, a, uh, somebody who was a contractor, I would have asked them the same thing. What are you doing here? And I asked you the same thing. And I asked you the same. See, you could have come back this a whole different way. I'm not the general manager here. I'm the, I'm, a, I'm the maintenance man. And I was trying to let you know. Yeah, that's cool. Just so you know it, it was recorded the whole time. So not corporate. Not going to lie, but hanging up the phone to get her attention is an ice cold move. So this lady decided to take my product because I have a digital receipt from Walmart. Mine, she just got done talking crap about her coworker saying he's taking a lunch break after buying his stuff and talking y'all after he got his stuff. So let me go ahead and get her name so we can all see how this Karen works. Look at her, closing the door. You got a Karen on video? I swear, what up, brother? What up with you, baby? Yeah, I'm ain't over here you doing all right? Good, yes, sir. What's up, what's up? It's gonna be on TikTok, probably gonna be further than that. So she done closed the door on me. How about this? So when her manager comes out here, when your manager comes out here, when your manager comes out here, make sure that you harass me because I'm a black man. You can let me go, I got my receipt. Why do they always have to confront you outside? Can't they just verify it inside when they can see you pay? Okay, and I told you get the receipt. Every item is on here. Can you go get the receipt? 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 Can she let all the white people walk out with stuff not even in bed. She did. Show them your record. Show your record. I'm going to show them shit. I'm going to show it to my lawyer. Tell the bitch to come outside. What no, no. Huh? I don't know. Who'd you give the receipt to? The lady. Hunter. It's the bitch name. Hunter. Tell her to come outside. Man, we just, man, y'all, come on. And I got to go to work and I'm pissed the fuck I'm returning all of this shit. And Hunter is not going to have a job. So go get the receipt and come verify this. They should change the Walmart customer service department name to the racist Walmart customer removal department. I asked to speak to a manager. She's going to call security on me. Because I asked to speak to a manager. 
I don't have to leave the store yes, because you know. because I, all I did was ask so to speak to a manager. No, nope, no, nope. by law, I asked to speak to a manager. I was not confrontational, and I, all I wanted to do was speak to a manager because of the way that she was acting inside the store when I was speaking to her. It was nothing. I was not being confrontational. Wasn't being rude. Didn't use any foul language. She had a very bad attitude from the beginning. All she did, I told her after everything was done, I said to her, I said, you know what, it's fine that you guys can do this, that's cool, but if I am talking to you and having a conversation with you and asking you about these questions, you shouldn't roll your eyes at me and, and discredit what I'm saying. I've been in management for over 20 years, and, and no matter what, when you do have a customer that has a concern, you listen to them, even though you can't do anything for them, you listen to them, and you be, you be sympathetic to their problem. And that's all I ask for her. And she says, I don't need you telling me how to do my job, and walks away from me. That is completely unprofessional. She approached it wrong. I will give you that. And on the other hand, and I this is something for me to deal with in a, in a few minutes. Yes, sir. Between now and then, yes, sir. For, it's time to leave. Yes. Okay. So, it's now, time so, to leave. so, sir, this is my this is my thing, sir. And you can even ask, sir, ask Sandra. I will address it sir. with her. But all I, I wanted to do was to speak to a manager, to and that's it. And I was going to do understand. my shopping. Now I can't come shop because she decided. When I asked to speak to a manager, I said, is there any way I can speak to a manager? I wasn't loud. I didn't yell. I wasn't being disrespectful or anything. She walks right over, and when she says there's no manager available, she's like, you know what? Just, just I'm just going to have them escorted out of the store. It was she escalated the situation completely wrong. That is unfair. I'm being singled out, and I don't feel like this is the way you should handle this situation. You should not handle it this way. I want to do my shopping, and all I want to do is come in here, get my son his diapers, and get some food for my kids, and go home. But you're going to tell me I have to leave the store because I asked to speak to a manager? That's completely unfair. That is completely the wrong way to handle this. Your employee handled the situation completely wrong. I was not rude, didn't raise my voice to her, didn't use any disrespectful language at all. All I did was I asked to speak to a manager because I was upset with the way that I was being treated in the store. And I wanted to speak to you or somebody else. That's all I wanted. I handled it the right way. The chain of command. And she, she, she did everything she I had to do. I heard you. I have heard you. And you're going to ask me to leave the store? I'm still going to ask you to leave the because store. Because of that. And I'm, I'm still going to ask you to leave to the leave. store. To leave it's the store. Time to go. Just ask me to leave the store because I asked to speak it's to a manager. To go. It's because I asked to speak to a manager. It's time to go. Okay. It's time to go. So I see that this is like this straight up racism right here. I never knew just hanging out would be such a big crime. Some people should really learn how to mind their own business. I felt I felt sorry. I'm sorry. There was oh. a lot of kids. You defiantly sat down in that chair. How did I defiantly? I sat down. What does down. that even mean? <laughs> Stop. Stop talking. Stop talking. Okay, you know what? If this continues, I'm going to have you um, escort now. What the hell, what? bro? We didn't even do anything. Did you escort it, bro? Okay, so you work in you know, the so, so if you were, what management do you work in? So, so my name is Angie, Angie Steele. Hey, record this session. I'm in the mall manager downstairs. All right. Okay. All right. I'm happy to talk to you. I'm, I'm happy to talk to you too. I walked up, I asked you guys to get off this guy's stand respectfully, and you defiantly sat down. That, but was it almost true? She means like as a whole, like Terry's just this guy's equipment. Well, how do you not know? Not known for lying, she looks like she'd be famous for it. Clearly the smoke was there because it wanted an autograph. I do not smoke in that car. You can see the ashes all over. Ma'am, I had the door open standing there at the door at the car. I was not in the car. So Ma'am, I'm not I'm not known for lying. I'm sorry. I'm You're kidding. pissing me off. Wait, what? Because I didn't smoke in the I mean, you can look at it yourself, ma'am. Ma'am, I can look at it. I know there may be ashes in it. I told you the door was open. I was standing right there with my cigarette. Wind blows. Are you stupid? If the wind blew inside, that's not my problem. That's but I didn't problem. smoke in it. Do you smell cigarette smoke in it? Yes. No, ma'am, you do not. No, ma'am, you don't. It does not smoke. No, we both smoke. Out. I can walk you out and I can show you the reason why. We both why, smoke. Okay, and the reason why, but, so looking even on the outside pillar of the window, and that's the main, because I used to smoke. I was standing, I was standing there smoking, yes. Okay. But if there's anything, 
I did not smoke in that car. You can't tell me otherwise. Well, I'm telling you what. That's just a way for y'all to bullshit money. It is not, ma'am. I was just going to show you what. I'm just telling you, I am not an old liar. Smoke outside the car. I had the door open, but oh my god, people are crazy. She just said, "Fuck, Fuck. you." <laughs> the all the like the whole body, like the whole inside of the car is ashes. To be honest, Planet Fitness looks like it'd be the breeding ground for Karens. They just love policing over there. These Walmart Karens seem to have too much time on their hands. Maybe she should spend it reading her own company's policies. Good job, Megan. Alright, you're back. You're free, you're free to go. I'm free to go. And you saw nothing in my bag. You decided it was a good idea to stop me and you want to search my bag. A 40-year-old woman with four kids who just got off of work with my name badge on. If you ever get sick, I'm the first to help you, but you decided in the middle of the night while I'm shopping because my car broke down that you needed to search my bag because at rent, and you're not even security, are you? Well, are you no, security? Company policy for cashiers to check bags. You went, but you know what? Since you're the cashier, ring me up. I don't want to do self checkout. Megan, you you ring me up because right. you want to check me. All right. you want to get my right get my car. Megan want to stop me and ask me after I got off a 12 hour shift working in a hospital helping sick people that she need to check my bag because it's her policy. I just check their bag and this is what they have. You know what? I don't want to hear that, Jason. I don't care if you check somebody else's bag. Not a single register open. Open one up for me, Megan, since you want to help me so bad and want to do policy. <laughs> Megan and Millard, Walgreens. What's this place? Walmart. I said it wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect your job. Checking me, wanting to open up my bag in the middle of the night. You know what? When you come to the hospital because you're not feeling well, I'm going to search and check you too. All your insurance. Huh. Well, you're going to keep your blood pressure up if you keep disrespecting people. And please don't put the other stuff with my meat. I don't want salmonella poison. I don't even shop at Walmart. I only shopped here because Pacers was closed because it's late. Because I got off of work at 3 o'clock in the morning. You know how hard it is to work at late shifts, don't you? Because you're here too, huh? And the last thing you would want is somebody treating you like a thief after your hard day of work. But you don't work 12 hours, do you? 
No, I work 12 hours, five to seven days a week. But I got Megan's who decide that I don't work and I got a shoplift. You want my food stamp card too, Megan? What, do, what you need to search my bag for? Company policy. company policy. What the hell's in my bag that you need company policy to look through? Oh, man, I'm not even buying this shit. I can't believe you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I hope one day I'll bump into you with your mother. I hope I do so I could talk to her about how you treated me. Hope to God. Whatever. You know, I hope to God I don't raise my kids to be like you. I can't even. You know what? I'm not even going to shop here. Walmart lost my money because of Megan's disrespectful ass. Good night. What's your name, Wes? Wes. Bless your heart, working this hard job with these assholes. Honey, be careful because they searching bags because they don't want to shop in here. Whatever, go to hell. I just got four words of advice for this guy. Sue them for everything. Okay, and we talked about how heavy it was. So don't talk to me about disrespectful. Um. If you want to take your shit and get the you can. Because I'm tired of you. Wow, okay. Apparently, the way I got your husband on video talking to you like that on the phone earlier. It's going all over the internet. You're, so? Yeah, that stuff, type of stuff is ridiculous. You got... You think you can rob me of 3000 bucks? This should have been $10,000 in labor. Really? I what? would not take a square of that for $5,000? Are you crazy? No way. This was your that plan. Was not worth $5, people $5, people like you are ridiculous. Do you realize I will come back and we're going to take everything cuz I have the receipts for it. It's mine. It's not yours. It's mine. He's if this isn't a part of his job, then what the hell is this guy doing here wasting everyone's time? Go do your job, sir. I will call the police. Okay. How is that the answer? How is that? How, how is this? We are busy. There is six then come. Where the fuck is anybody? Busy. Hey, then come tell Liar. us you're busy. Liar. How did I know? We Liar. don't know Liar. what's Liar. going on. Liar. Just Liar. communicate. Liar. Communicate Liar. with your employees. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. If, If, if somebody comes out and says, hey, we're busy, we'll be. Who's coming out? This isn't even my job. I'm in operations. All good. All good. Who works here? Like this? Any, tell us that any frontier employee could come tell us. Any frontier employee. The only thing worse than an angry Karen is the know-it-all Karen who just says a bunch of nothing and acts as if it makes sense. Do you know the Constitution, ma'am? You. You can record and things. His, and, his, and his Constitution don't, don't mean sh I just know your rights. rights. Don't mean, oh, I know my rights. And my rights Obviously are different you don't. from yours. My rights are different from yours. Really? You want to know why? Because that's a black man. We and you're a white boy. We finna keep the peace. You're Look, a white you got boy. your footage. You're a white boy. You got boy. the rights to record. You're a white Go boy. ahead. And push you're down. exploiting our lives. It's okay, though. Look. You don't care? You I know do you don't care. You don't commit crime. I know you don't care. Not commit crime, it's not a crime. Ignorant, because you don't even know what happened. You don't happened. know what he's doing. I saw it on Twitter. He you didn't see shit. Yeah, I'm saying, though. I'm shit. saying, though. But, like, you for you to say that, I, it's, I feel don't. you, bro. Do your thing. But, like, you don't know the, you don't know what's going on. Yeah, true. So it's all good. We she thinks they gave her the rights to the road when she bought the car. Jesus. What's she doing? No. No. Oh my God. I said no. Then why are you hanging out here? I'm waiting. For what? My sister. Are you lost? 
My sister you lives you here. My sister lost? lives right here. Are you lost? You tripping, lady? Are you lost? Lay off that crack. Pardon me. I said lay off are that crack. Lost? Okay, stop, stop. Are you lost? Okay. What are you doing? What the heck? No, my sister lives here. Are you lost? My sister lives right here. You tripping? Lay oh, off the crack. Smiley. Yeah, you have a piece of shit too. Where is she? Are you lost? Then why do you hang out? Are you lost? Why don't you go see your sister? You're on camera. Yeah, you are on my camera too. I read somewhere that polar Karens are more delusional and annoying than the grizzly Karen. No, I don't work for you. I'm getting paid. You, you are not my boss. I am. You're, no, you, no, you are not. Oh, yes, you are. No, you're I not. Am. Move your truck so I can leave. Car now. Move your truck so I can leave. I'm calling the cops. Up. Don't f tell me Get to shut up. You are bring, rude. Bring. Just pull your truck forward enough. I will. Car. There's a heavy equipment. You couldn't freaking leave in the first place. Okay, well. No, you are. You're the problem oh, here. Up. No, I'm not. Why are you acting like that? What? Stop it! I can re stop it. Don't you touch me. You could. Okay, I'll sue you for videoing me. Sue me. Get off my property now. I can't unless Go you move your truck. Go get in Go your not pocket. touch me. Oh. Hey, no. oh. He just hit me. Oh. You just hit me. You got in my face. Spring. You just he just move hit me. Truck. And let him get out of I here. told him to go. He said you're videotaping me. Just get out of here. Just go. This is why I'm videotaping you. Go get in your car. Move your truck so I can leave. Well, I can when you leave. I am as soon as he gets in his car. Well, I might hit it. Nobody's yelling anything from here. I'll be calling the cops. I don't care. You're on private property. You you assaulted me. You just he just saw you hit me. Grabbing my crap. Get off my property. Move your truck so I can leave. Get off my property. Move, you gotta move your truck. You gotta do move step your one. Car to leave. Gotta do step one so I can do step two. Get in your car. You're not you're not my boss. You don't tell me no, what to do. I'm not your boss now, I was. In a sane world, the police should show up to reprimand her and put her in her place. Say no to racist Karen's. So they're not documented? I'm not telling you any of them. Because they're not documented. They 100% are. They 100% are. But it's not your information. Sure it is. I'm a, I'm a citizen of the United of the country. I mean, I'm a citizen. If, why, how is it not my business? They're not even working on your property. It doesn't matter. They're working in my neighborhood. They're working next to my property. Is that, I, I don't understand. They all have documentation and now you're demanding it? Yes. Are you demanding mine as well? Well, you obviously are not Hispanic. And why is that? Why are you not demanding my documentation? Are you that dense? Are you? Is this a racist thing? Are you, is because they're Hispanic? Of course. Hispanics are the only undocumented here. Mexicans and South Americans. Yes. And we're having, we're facing a huge do crisis to, in this country. Do, do I need to get police involved here? Sure. So that you let these guys alone? I'm not bothering them. You are harassing them. And you're actually on this first property as well. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm going to have these guys keep working. Well, okay. And I'm going to call the police. Okay. I will as well. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know, but I'm gonna have these guys keep working. That's We're right. contracted by them. They're actually getting ready to come out and let you know the same exact thing. So I'm gonna have them keep on rocking and rolling. You keep rocking and rolling. Okay, you awesome. Keep it up. Thank you. Awesome. Her husband at home is probably enjoying the fact that he's got some time off from her. Hey, one of those like daytime shows, right? <laughs> I was just gonna say that I've been threatened by this dude. Uh-oh. What's Take it to the Sunny Coast Daily. How many wines have you had this morning, <laughs> darling? How many wines have you had? Darling, I was here at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, how drunk were you? <laughs> yeah, what were you doing to wake at 2 in the morning? Would you like to be at um, Angle Grinding at 2 o'clock in the morning with me? I'd love to. You can come late. You can come late for us if you want. Yeah, no sure, come where try it. Don't, hey. do, don't do your back with the talk. Where you've been. I've been working, I've been sleeping all day so yeah, I can yeah, yeah. take food home for my family. You're taking a photo of me, I'm taking a photo of you. We're filming each other. We're filming each other. Do you have a husband at home? Probably not, though. He'd probably be over you. I hate to admit it, but this Karen's jingle is actually pretty catchy. Oh shit, we got beef over here. 
Publix Palm Springs. at Publix. tripping The look on a Karen's face when you react in the same manner? Out Karening a Karen is nothing short of priceless. <laughs> lady, are you crazy? Whoa, whoa. lady. Hey, lady, you're crazy. Lady. Lady. Fuck, move, bitch. Fucking no, you can't hit me. Yeah, call them. You hit me. I got you on camera hitting me. I got you on camera hitting me. Me. Stay. Me. Stay. Me. You can get it. You hit me in the face. Yeah, here we go. Karen of the day. Karen of the day that decided to hit me because I was filming. Lady, you're not supposed to hit me. I don't know who the f you are. You need to get away from me. Lady, lady, get the f Exactly. Lady, you hit me. Yeah, and I'm going to show the cops when you call them out here how you hit me. I'm allowed to defend myself. No, I don't think so. Yeah, see, that's liberal garbage. I'm allowed to defend myself. You're attacking me. You're coming out. Yes, you did. I have that here. No, lady, you're not allowed to grab me. You're not allowed to grab me. You have no authority to put your hands on me. None. You hit me. You have no authority to put your hands on me. I was filming your altercation with that lady. I have you on camera hitting me, lady. You're not supposed to be in my... In my... She hit me. She hit me. I saw that. I got the, I'm calling the police. I don't know what the hell she's... What's wrong with her? According to the Karen Amendment in the Constitution, if there's something they don't approve of, it's something that should be criminalized immediately. Yo, don't touch my rod. No. Don't fuck my rod. No, trespassing on private property. Don't threaten us. You're trespassing on private property, young man. We're waiting for the police to come. You don't need to get out of here. Leave. No, we're going to talk to them. Leave. We're going to talk to them. You threatened us. He's our you threatened us. To go in the lake, young man? The you threatened us. You want that phone to go in the lake? Back away from here, boys. Back out of here. Back up. Test me. Back up from me. Back up from me. Get out of here. Back up from me. How'd I take that phone and put it in the lake? Yeah, now I'll press charges. For what? Like assault, what? For what? Assault. Yeah, I'm not assaulting you. Get out of here. We're just going to wait. We're not going to mess with anything. Get out of here. You're fishing in a private lake. 
Get the hell out of here now! The cops are coming. We're just waiting for them. Okay, good. Yeah, we're waiting for them. We're, we're you know what? We're going to prosecute. So your parents are going to be real proud of that. All right. We're going to prosecute you, and you're going to pay all kinds of money because you're being a dick. I'm not being a dick. You you're, are. Sir, you're the no, one no, yelling. You're, going, you're, you're on private go. property, sir. young man. I'm just trying to fish. You threatened us, and you walked up Get out of here. You're on private property. Get out of here. Don't, we're, don't we're, touch we're, me. We just said we wanted to win. You touched me earlier. Get out of here. You touched me earlier. Get out of here. You touched me earlier. Do you think one would be at a level 10 of Karenhood when they start picking on kids? Yo, don't touch my rod. No. Don't fucking touch my rod. Yeah, wait till your parents. Come wait till on. I get a hold of your parents. I call them. Give me your call them right Let's now. Call my phone's dead. Call them. Call them. You call them. You call them. I don't call feel like this. Yeah. I just talk Let's to the, the police. Parents. I'm gonna just talk to the police. You don't even know their number. You live in a, your parents live in this neighborhood? Don't worry about that. Hey, listen, he knows everybody. He said, in here. He, said he said he did, his but last I think he's Smith. Lying. Do you know any Smith lives in here? No. Okay, so what's your real name, buddy? I'm not telling. I'll, I'll tell the police that. I'm not telling y'all that. Wait, what's you the problem? You live in here. Okay, we're, we're just gonna wait for the police. He knows everybody. We're waiting for the police. He's a president. He's lived here for years. And there's no Smith that lives in here. We can stop fishing, but like we're just gonna wait for the police. You don't live in here. We're gonna wait for the police to be here. He knows every family in here. We're just gonna wait for the police. Where are you guys from, man? Tennessee. Tennessee. Well, your parents would be proud of you. Why don't you send me that video? I'll send them and show you what a fine young man they're raising. Uh, and yeah, you're, what a yeah, fine young man your parents raising you pressing up on some 15-year-old boys. Yeah, why are you pressing on 15-year-olds?